Japan's numerous volcanoes could hold the secret to predicting future eruptions in New Zealand. While we have just 12 active volcanoes, Japan has over 100. And as Alexa Cook reports, that's a draw card for Kiwi volcanologists. Scraping away hundreds of years of volcanic history. This crumbly old lava holds vital clues for forecasting eruptions. The information that we can gain from, from Japan is really helpful in identifying what precursory signals occur before eruptions. We're on the volcanic island of Izu Oshima near Tokyo to meet Kiwi Chris Conway, who's a chemical volcanologist for the Geological Survey of Japan. He's showing us one of his research sites. It's a large caldera, the hollow formed by an eruption, and at last blew in 1986, spewing red hot lava out of its vent. It's uh, one of the active volcanoes in a, a long chain of volcanoes stretching down from Tokyo. In the distance looms Mount Fuji, a reminder that this country, like New Zealand, is perched on top of the Ring of Fire, a tectonic belt of volcanoes and fault lines. Japan has 111 active volcanoes, which is why Chris is working here. There's a lot of eruptive activity that's occurred over the last 100 years and then back uh, into history as well. Uh, so we have great records of volcanic activity, uh, volcanic behaviour uh, that we can use to better understand eruptions around the world. And the island has plenty to study. These tephra layers reveal 18,000 years of explosive history. Chris and his colleague want to know when future eruptions will happen and how much warning they might get. So I'm uh, looking at the texture and uh, thinking about the physics of the materials. All of this black rock is from a lava flow in 1421. And although it's old news, it keeps revealing new information for scientists about what triggered that eruption and what changes might occur before the next one. They're carrying out a chemical analysis of samples from volcanic deposits so they can reconstruct the underground process of magma formation and movement and then match it with surface records of volcanic activity. We study the long-term frequency of eruptions to hopefully get a better handle on when eruptions may occur in the future. New Zealand's had only a few well-observed eruptions, so Japan's findings are helping Kiwi scientists with their predictions. We now have uh, less uncertainty or better constraints on when, when volcanoes will transition from unrest to a state of eruption. And that, that gives us a better uh, understanding of um, time frames for hazard mitigation or evacuation from dangerous areas. Something scientists from both countries have been collaborating on for over 20 years. We can uh, learn from uh, New Zealand system and uh, New Zealand researchers as well. So that when the next sleeping giant awakens, we won't be in harm's way. Alexa Cook, News Hub.